Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Uh, my name is Samuel Lim. I'm a second year medical student and founder of the IMED Alpha community and educational platform. Now, this video is about how to choose your medical school, okay, especially for non-U students. Um, your medical school choice is very limited. You only have one um, medical school choice. So it's very important that you choose in the right medical school. Okay, so now the first thing that we should get out of the way is that how are you on your preparation? How are you on your mock exams, right? When For the IMAT past papers. Are you getting good scores? Like what is realistically a score that you can attain, right? You cannot be getting like 20 points and be saying, oh, I'm going to go to Sapienza, right? Because that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. If you're not good with your preparation and if you're not good with your exam taking, you, it doesn't matter if, if you apply to any of those top universities because you won't, won't get in, okay? So it's very important to be very realistic, okay? And at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Like, obviously, you're going to be living in a place, you should get used to the place and whatever, or so not. But when it comes to the degree itself, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, you are going to be a doctor. You're going to know exactly the same thing as an Oxford medical student knows. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So when I used to go to the hospital to do my rounds, last year, for example, I would be seeing doctors, medical students from Oxford University. And they know exactly the same thing that I know, right? And, and no one's treat, no one's different. You at the end of the day, you are in the same journey. No one is better than no one based on university. That does not mean anything. You are doctors, you're medical students at the end of the day. Okay. And sooner or later, you guys are going to find that out. Okay. So don't base your entire life on a title. Okay. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be doctors. Okay. That's the first thing I wanted to get out of the way. Second thing is, it's better to be a medical student than to not be a medical student. Right. So you rather, let's say, apply to a university like body, like Parma, like Naples, you know, like to uh, or Catania, then applying and, and getting accepted into one of them, then applying for an unrealistic university like Milan Bicocca, Sapienza, Tor Vergata, and not, get, and not being accepted, right? Because you, I, I don't know about you, but I would rather be a medical student than not being a medical student, right? So you need to start thinking like that. Think realistically. What can you achieve, right? Don't like, don't lie to yourself. Think realistically. Um, and obviously, if you are a plus student, if you're getting fifty plus on the on on the, on your past papers, if you're nailing it, then obviously you have a lot of choices, right? And then you can obviously consider all the topics like lifestyle. Um, price and the type of thing um i would say start researching whenever you choose your university start researching a bit more about the city the prices of the city is it something that fits your pockets okay are you getting the full scholarship or are you just getting the easy right are you paying for everything or are you not paying for everything like how does it work what is your parents budget okay this is very important thing some universities you can in the cities you can find a room for like 300 euros others you might find for minimum 400 500 600 plus right so it all depends and this is a very 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 important thing that you have to do right not just for obviously the imat results but you also need to go to a university that you can afford living there okay, so this is something very important um and yeah, that's about it. Apply strategically. Apply to somewhere that you know you're going to get in. Even if they're a bit more fussy with the paperwork and what's on that. At the end of the day, it's better for you to be in a medical student than to not be. Okay. Um, and yeah, I hope that video helps. If you guys have any questions, go to our WhatsApp community group and send us a message and we're going to be happy to help.